Hello and welcome back. We have seen the first three videos, the mechanic and the two most important functions of the new UWD series. But we need another video to show you all the rest of the good functions. Let's start with the new SMAT P5 MI shoe. And as always, this is a video for internal use only. Don't share the link with anyone. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. That's okay. The new SMAT P5 MI shoe is much smaller than the existing one and it can be used for one channel receiver and in the future also for two channel receivers. Let's connect the SMAT P5 MI shoe to the URX P40 receiver. The connector is now on the back side. Take the rubber away. Plug it in. Tight the screw. Take the cap away and you're ready to go. The important point here is on the back side of the SMAT P5. It's a switch where you can change the signal from analog to digital. If you have an existing camcorder which has no software update, then you use the analog output, you get a nice clean sound, everything is fine as before. If you have one of the newer camcorders which have a digital MI shoe, or maybe your camcorder for your camcorder is in software update available, then you can switch to digital. And this means from the receiver, the full signal flow is digital into the camcorder. There is no extra DA conversion and you get an absolutely perfect sound and a better signal resolution than with the analog signal. There are some more new functions, but let's look into the menu to show a little bit how UWD series body pack works. And this is for all transmitters the same. The standard screen is this. You see the battery symbol here in the upper right corner. You see frequency you use, and this is the group and the channel. Uh, how group and channel works, which I show in another video, and then you see the antenna symbol, which shows an H, and the H is high mode. Very important, um, all systems came from Japan in low mode, 5 milliwatt. If a customer says he couldn't, couldn't reach uh, a bigger range, then he can change it to high mode to 30 milliwatt, very important. And then you see a bar graph, which shows the audio input and uh, or mic input sensitivity, that's fine. If you scroll down the menu, you see the band you can change. You see the attenuator. This is for the input. Press the set button. Change the attenuator. As closer you go to zero, as more sensitivity the system is. So as more input uh, level you get. And then is the gain mode, which we explained before, normal boost or auto gain. We have a low cut, very simple. Press the set button, change the low cut to low, mid or high. Press the set button again, drop done. The input level could be MIG. Press the set button again, change to line level and you see there is the line um, level coming up and press the set button, drop done. Error of power is high. This can be only changed in a special mode. We have the power lock. Um, so you can lock the power button. It's locked now, so you cannot switch it off. Yeah, you can say yes or no if you unlock it and um, then it switch off. Next is runtime. That's you can set to zero, zero, zero. If you put new batteries inside and then it shows you how long the system was switched on. With this battery advanced mode can be also a simple mode, but advanced mode shows you a mute setting. That's something which is new. I love this feature goes in and you can set it to mute all. Very good. You press the mute button. You see here is the blinking orange LED and it shows the system is muted. You press the mute button again and it's unmuted. And of course, it shows you a microphone here uh, on the top right corner and it shows it is muted. This next point is mute hold. So press the mute button, muted, release the mute button, unmuted. Next button is the face. You can change the face. If you have another microphone which needs a face change, then you can do this here. Compander mode. This is for compatibility to older UWD series, Freedom series and W800 series. Battery type. We have alkaline is type 1, nickel metal hybrid, rechargeable is type 2 and lithium ion is type 3. And then we have the display mode. It switch off after some seconds. The brightness and then it's a factory set. And that's all. Now you know all the important facts about the new UWPD series. We will have the final version available on IBC. We show it on our booth and if any questions before, write it down in the comment fields and I will give you an answer. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And now, go out and sell something.